Damn. I will not let this power fall into the wrong hands. Especially not yours. Traitor. I'll never let the Legion have the spark. Happy birthday, Ray! Wanna have a drink together? Here you go! Two bowls of longevity noodles. Eat it while it's hot. Curfew is approaching and I should start packing up. Some other day. I'm not in the mood. Haven't seen you for a while, Ray. You know Urso. He spends his days cooped up tinkering with things. Oh! I almost forgot! I've got a surprise for you. Here's old Urso's latest invention. MCI Radio. It's a tracking device and radio all in one. I made it look old, so it's just like the one our team once used. Let me show you how it works. Attention all Furtizens. Attention all Furtizens. Assemble at Chuan's Noodle House at once to celebrate Rayton's birthday. I repeat. Enough. Yeah, keep it down or so. Ever since the big boom, curfews and weapons searches have destabilized things. When will it ever end? What are you afraid of? Those Legion Iron Dogs won't be yapping for much longer. I've really been giving them the boot recently. <laughs> Went and hacked those Iron Dogs' transformer system. Ray, join us. And let's give them hell together. <sighs> give them hell? <laughs> we need our old gear to fight those Iron Dogs. Whoa, Ray! You and I think alike. I was finally able to fix your fist. Stop messing around with it. It's just a piece of scrap now. Scrap? I might not be able to repair the entire armor, but the fist at least. Uh, keep it down, guys. Security's been cracking down recently. It's been six years already. Even if you manage to fix the fist, what can we do with it? Forget it, Urso. It's in the past now. Our time has passed. Look, Urso. I just don't think he's ready yet. And, well, you have to give him more time. It's been six years already. Is he going to hide all his life? Hmm. What's going on? Urso's been arrested. The Iron Dogs just came to the noodle stall and took Urso away. This was Urso's, but I hid it for him. I don't understand this veteran stuff. I'll leave it in your hands. This machine still works. Let me try to get a fix on Urso. Shots down to prison. Prisoner 41, Urso. Deporting. Oh, Urso's been taken to Torch Tower. That's it. He's done for now. I've never heard of any Ferdinand leaving Torch Tower alive. What can we do? Uh, I'll head over to Torch Tower and bring Urso back. Do you really want to take this risk? You know that Urso is the only friend I have left in Torch City. <sighs> this is for you. Urso left it. That you would need it. Officer, your pump is just carrot juice and water. I'm just a snake oil vendor. I, I wouldn't dare touch your weapons. Hey, easy there. <laughs> Looking for weapons? I've got some. That 
was too close. The arms business is too dangerous now. Wang, where can I find the transformer drill? Shh, keep it down. That's some big league stuff. The organization once sent Master Wu to try and grab it from the Iron Dogs. Now you're looking for the Transformer Drill, too? That's right. It's no doubt guarded by a crack team of Iron Dogs. You should go talk to Master Wu. He'll know. Go through the secret door on the left side of my room. That's where Master Wu's group is hiding out. Thanks. Master Wu is really spry for his age. All thanks to Pump. Want a bottle for a little pick-me-up? It's free. You saved me, after all. Master Wu, you still got some fight in you. <laughs> it's little Ray. What do you want with this old man? I came for the Transformer drill. I heard that Master Wu knows where it is. Hmm, I see. They got Urso. I need the Transformer drill to climb Torch Tower. I'll get him out, no matter how dangerous it gets. Hmm, so that's why you dug out that fist of yours. Right. The organization tried to get the drill, but failed. The Iron Dogs have strengthened their security, so rushing in is suicide. I don't know how good your skills are after all these years. There are several robot puppets inside. Warm up first and I'll teach you a few tricks. Not bad. After all these years, you're still an ace pilot. Your power fist has immense potential. My power punch is just right for you. This is just a minor trick. The fist is a machine, after all. If you want to make it stronger, you'll need to exploit the mechanical power of the Legion. You must find data disks in order to learn more moves. Data disks? Yes. This is what I heard from the Iron Dogs. Their local boss, Feral, is downtown now and carries a data disk. Master Wu, there is no time to waste. Let me rescue Urso before going after the data disk. Ray, no offense, but you just don't have the power to infiltrate the Legion all by yourself right now. You must defeat Feral and prove your strength before I can trust you with the drill's location. Very well. I'll find Feral and get the data disk. The power punch I taught you just now can not only strike enemies, but also punch through the security barriers those Iron Dogs installed in the city. You shouldn't have trouble finding Feral. Right. Downtown is no place for Feralls! This feral was tough, and carrying a data disk too. Better report back to Master Wu. Oh, I haven't seen anyone this good in Torch City before. Have you heard? Feral, the downtown boss, got dismantled by a rabbit. He got totally written off and was dragged off to the scrapyard. Maybe that rabbit has something to do with the power outage here. Ah, no need to work ourselves into a panic. Feral and his pals keep bragging about how big they are, but they're just a bunch of wimps. Our boss is a real fighter. The boss doesn't care if we live or die. They say that the rabbit has a big iron fist on his back. He's no walkover either. The two of us are screwed if he comes here. What do you take the power station for? It has the Legion's most powerful defenses. Nothing can get through. 
Just shut up and open the valve. Everyone's waiting for the power to come back on. Got it. Better head back to Torch Tower now. Report! The Fugitive Rabbit Ferguson has acquired the Transformer Trill and is approaching Torch Tower. Post more guards to stop him. Yes, sir. Report. District search completed. Target not found. Expand the search. Find the spark. Even if it means digging up all of Torch City. Come out. It's just you and I now. Cicero? It's you! Didn't you? I knew Torch Tower wouldn't stop you. I wasn't expecting a reunion here. You've slowed down, old friend. Why are you on the Iron Dog's side? You wouldn't understand. But you look so... How are you different from them? Emerge is the ultimate warrior! This is what the future of Torch City will become! You're a traitor to all Ferdisans! I'll knock some sense into you! I know that you're not interested in idealistic philosophy. setting soon the Sun will not set it's our world that's turned around come on time to get to work <sighs> of the Iron Dogs is Cicero, our team's ace pilot? Yeah. Impossible! Cicero was killed in battle. You saw it with your own eyes. I don't know what happened, but he's betrayed us and become the leader of the Iron Dogs. That steel body of his means that I'm no match for him, even with the fist. Strange. Fertisans don't end up like iron dogs for no reason. Spark. That's all I heard. Let's try and get out of here first. We need to investigate things before we can make up our minds about Cicero. Oh, here comes another poor sucker. Hey, kid! It's a cat! Keep quiet, 6304! Haha! <laughs> 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 
Nice move! And the keys, darling. Thank you. Catch. Who are you? Why are you helping us? I guess that's what we get for helping you. That's no way to talk to a lady. I saw you at the power station. You were very agile, but I recognized your unique attack rhythm. Those ears of yours aren't just for show after all. Silly bunny. You can call me Q. What power station? You two know each other? Hey, Ray? You smooth talker, you. You two can stay and chat. The power might come back on at any moment, so I need to get out of here. Looks like our savior has a way out. <laughs> I'll tag along. Silly bunny, that big fist has been taken to the evidence room on prison level four. You want to get it back first? Hmm. Get her so out of here for me, and I'll meet you back in town. Hmm. That means you owe me one then. Come on, Fuzzy Bear. Take a deep breath, suck in your stomach, and follow me. Huh? Uh, see you later, Ray. Uh, uh, wait, wait for me! Uh. his orders! Don't let that crazy rabbit get his hands on the fist! Screw this up, and we end up in the scrapyard! Yes, sir! What are you doing here, Shen? Where's Bovi? Rayton? Bovi invited you many times, and here you are, finally gracing us with your presence. Are you inviting me to hole up with you in that rabbit hutch of yours? You should go and hide elsewhere. You cowards hiding in the city piss me off. Aren't you retired? <laughs> now you turn up like, like some kind of hero. This is no place to talk. I'll get you out. Um, the door is locked. We need a key. Just go. I wasn't counting on you anyway. I don't understand you city people. What's so good about living under the Iron Dogs' boot heels every day? Let's get out of here. Get out of here? And go where? This was our place. It's the Iron Dogs that should get out of here. Where would I find a better gunner than you in the Western Range? <laughs> you got a smooth tongue on you. Testing, testing. Strange. Why is there no sound? Copy. Urso, you safe? Cool. Super long distance testing of the radio worked. Did you get the fist? I just picked it up, and now I'm looking for an exit. Stay clear of Old Town. The Iron Dogs are all over it. Lady Q told me to hide out on Joffrey Street. It's still relatively safe here. What happened to her? Lady Q? Believe me, she's got moves. But she said she had urgent business and left. With your skills, they're all cannon fodder at the prison anyway. As long as you're all safe. By the way, I'm at my workshop on Joffrey Street. Be sure to come see me. Sure. Over and out. Hold it! What do you take this place for? You think you can just come and go as you please? I'm just passing through. I don't want any trouble. And I don't want trouble to find me. You talk big with that scrap heap on your back. Brothers, tie him up! <laughs> Hold it. You lot don't have a chance of holding him down. Duke! It's been just six years, and you've forgotten your old comrade. <laughs> mm. 
Your Duke? The Duke of the Rat Gang is actually you? <laughs> yes. Little old Du is now the Duke. Go back to work. I'm just going to catch up with an old friend. <laughs> Sorry about that. Please excuse our rudeness just then, Rabbit Hero. I didn't know that you were a friend of the boss. I knew that you were the great Rabbit Hero. This fist is a perfect match for your mighty brawn. <laughs> Buzz is my assistant. He's a quick thinker. And if you ever need anything in the future, look him up. So you retired because of your injuries and became the boss of the Rat Gang. The Rat Gang and the Iron Dogs have been in cahoots for the last six years. You were behind that too. I hate dealing with traitors. I'll leave now if you don't mind. <laughs> you are as frank as ever. <laughs> but today is a good day. Meeting up with old friends and all that. Don't you want to know what happened to Cicero? Out with it. How much do you want for that? For you, my old friend, it's free. Cicero is indeed alive, and in the form he wanted to be. You call that being alive? How is he different from those iron dogs? <laughs> you two were the closest pals on the team. But you didn't know what he really yearned to be. Cicero always sought power. Just like how I've always tried to achieve balance. <laughs> Your so-called balance is helping those iron dogs enslave Torch City? I was the one who kept the city in balance over the last six years. Things are not always so black and white, like we rats. Most everything in the world is shades of gray. I don't want to upset your balance, and I have no time for your theories on the color gray. I just want to know this. What is Cicero planning? Him? He's a more complicated case. This is no place to chat. Come to Joffrey Street, and meet me at Broadway. You finally remembered your buddy. You look well. I'm built like a rock. The Iron Dogs just bounce off me. Guess who I met there? Chuan and Du. I met him earlier on. Even the subway is controlled by the Rat Gang. Joffrey Street is really cleaned up. Du has really moved up in the world. Say, do you think we've gotten the short end of the stick? You like keeping up appearances, don't you? Oh, yes! Chuan has moved here too! When are we gonna go for noodles again? Next time. I've got work to do. Oh, next time? I hope you don't leave me hanging again. Hey, it's Ray. Come here and take a seat inside. Have a chat with your old buddy Chuan. Chuan opened a noodle shop here, too. Sorry about what happened to your noodle stall in Old Town. Urso and I... Don't worry about such trivial things. You two are young, but when you get to be my age, you'll see that no matter what happens, things always turn out for the better. When I first came to Torch City, my noodles are so lumpy, totally inedible. Who could have guessed that I would eventually manage to open a noodle shop on Joffrey Street? This must be what they call a blessing in disguise. A new start with a new noodle shop. You gotta try a bowl of fresh noodles, Ray. Come uh -huh. 
Great food that is cheap and keeps you coming back for more. Enjoy all you can eat at Chuan's. This is something new, called coffee. Want to try some? How much do you know about Cicero? What I told you before was free. Oh, this is different. What do you want? I want to make a deal with you. Cicero is planning something that will completely change Tort City. If he succeeds, Ferdizen's will be no more. What? The deal is that you and I work together to find out the details of his plan. Then, we put a stop to the Legion's conspiracy. You've been in bed with each other for all these years. Why the sudden split? Gray. Remember? The Red Gang might not be much to a big hero like you. The Legion has gone too far this time. The game will become unplayable. What do you think I should do? I'll trust you, for now. I am a businessman. You don't have to believe me, but you must believe the scales of self-interest. The Arsenal and the sewers each contain a copy of the information. These two places are incredibly dangerous. I will send my brothers from the Rat Gang to scout ahead for you. I can do something this simple by myself. Do. You better not be playing tricks with me. The Iron Wall, you will die! Who is being so rough? You should not before you enter! No need for manners with iron dogs. It's you! The rabbit that's been causing trouble around Torch City! You've got three seconds to disappear before I call the guards. Guards? You mean that lump of scrap metal I flattened? As Deputy Chief of Staff of the Legion, I order you to leave my office! The Legion does not issue weapons to administrative personnel. Look, I am unarmed. Civilized person, please allow me to leave in a fitting manner. The Legion has been looking for the Spark. The Spark is located in the Western Range. Find out what they want with the Spark as soon as possible. Urso, do you read? The Urso Logistics Hotline is always here for Ray. Why are you in such an outlying location? Stay out of areas like that unless you have to. I found a set of Legion plans. I still need to make a trip to the sewers, too. Sheesh. Do sure knows how to work you. All right, the new location's marked. We're doomed. The water is up to here already. Hey, Rabbit. This run is a no-go, I'm afraid. I need to get to the sewers. Is there no other way? Uh, you'll need to go down on the left and check why the flood release valve is jammed. If we can't open the floodgates soon, the subway will become the sewers, and the trains will become submarines. How can I help you fix it? Oh, Graham sent you. The valve is missing, but all the spares are with my little brother Luke. Go down the pipe on the left, and you'll find it. I must keep watch here. I'll go take a look. Be careful when you go down there. Go to the left and close the floodgate. The currents are so strong, you'll end up in the sea in no time. Wow! That was an awesome punch! You smacked those iron dogs around like nobody's business! Heh! <laughs> Mark sent me to get the reserve valve. I wonder why my big brother didn't come here himself instead of sending you. He had to keep watch up there because it's flooded. 
Ha! He fooled you. My brother's just scared of falling into the water. He can't swim. Let's see where the valve is. Hmm. How come my digging tools are all missing? This crate is full of my brother's plumbing tools. He must have accidentally taken the wrong crate. Found it. Here's the reserve valve. Please, take it to my brother. spark to change Ferdisons. What are you really up to, Cicero? Ray, come in. Did you find something? Something big is happening in Tor City. I'm here to help. I need to stop by the Rat Gang first. Speaking of the Rat Gang? I, I know what I'm doing. Over and out. Curfew and weapon searches were all just a cover for the Legion's search for the Spark. If the Legion gets its hands on the Spark, it will become even more powerful and will mean the end of Torch City. The Rat Gang will cease to exist. Cicero's next target is... Is the Western Range, where Bovi is. The Western Range? is a quiet place that has been isolated from Torch City for many years. For the Legion to suddenly strike there after all these years, the Spark must be in the Western Range. Follow the Spark and I'll find Cicero. This time, I will stop him. If you want to stop Cicero, you must get to the Spark before the Legion does. I'll go to the Western Range and warn Bovi that the Legion may attack at any moment. After the war, Bovi withdrew to the Western Range. I haven't seen him in years. <sighs> Don't worry. If the Legion tries something, the Rat Gang will do everything possible to save the Ferdisons of Torch City. If I find the spark in the Western Range, I will come back and meet up with you as soon as possible. The only way to the Western Range is via the cable car station, outside the city. There's a secret passage from Joffrey Street. My rats will help you once you get there. <laughs> Urso, come in. Urso here, always at your service. Miss me already? I'm about to head over to the Western Range. You're finally going to see Bovi after all these years. He is always talking you and Sin. Hey, hey. Bovi is going to be so pleased to hear that our ace pilot Rayton is back on his feet again. Remember to say hi to him for me. I will. Kill me! This is Rat Gang territory! I only listen to the Duke! A rat, which I can squeeze to a pulp with one hand, dares talk back to me? You talk pretty tough for an iron dog that I can smash with. Wow! You must be the Duke's old comrade. The Rabbit Hero! Thank you for your help, Rabbit Hero. The cable car station used to be under the Rat Gang's control, but the Iron Dogs recently took it over. 
To get to the Western Range now, you'll have to go through the abandoned tunnel instead. Abandoned tunnel? The blasted legion dismantled all the cables. Fortunately, the Rat Gang still has a secret entrance to the tunnel. To defend the Western Range, the tunnel was filled with defensive devices. I wouldn't dare go in there. Hey, Rabbit Hero! When you get to the Western Range, remind them to strengthen their defenses. Why should someone like you from the Rat Gang care about the Western Range? Everyone in the Western Range is hardcore anti-Legion. We rats may be timid, but we dream of being heroes too. Hey, don't laugh. <laughs> I won't. I'll remind them for you. Ah, those blasted iron dogs are here again. I'll hold them off. You warn the villagers. Ha! <laughs> Look, it's a Ferdinand and rabbit, not an iron dog. Halt! Say the secret word, or go back from where you came. You can't just waltz into the Western Range. Hey, didn't you used to serve under Bovey? I need to see Bovey regarding an important matter. Well, please, uh, come on in. If you want to see Bovey, head west until you see a house with an iron bull on the front. That's his place. Why did you just let him through with no questions asked? Uh, he's from before your time, kid. That was one of the leading champions of the Resistance, Raiden. He was Bovey's trusted warrior and won many battles. Why did you come to the Western Range? I thought you were home, munching on grass. I came to see Bovey. <laughs> Here in the Western Range, we ain't hanging out and chatting all day like you lot. I just gave Bovey an update on Legion activities in the city. All our brothers in the Western Range are ready to teach those Iron Dogs a lesson. The Iron Dogs came prepared this time. We must stand our ground. Enough of this idle chit-chat. I'm going to oil the cannons. When the time comes, I'll blow them all to smithereens. Who's there? Don't you see I am busy? Lord, it's Chief Ray. Uh, what brings you here? You do me a great honor. What are you working on? I be studying those Iron Dogs' weapons. My brothers need better weapons to face them. Hey, that fist looks powerful, Chief Ray. You want to give it a try? Heck no, I don't have the knack for it. Maybe Chief Ray can show me a trick or two, so I can collect some combat data and analyze the power of advanced weaponry. Once I figure out what makes it tick, I can come up with a counter. How about it? Can you demonstrate it on that barrel over there, Chief Ray? Wow, Chief Ray's fist really packs a punch. Chief Ray, I reckon I can upgrade that missile launcher that you carry. Can I have a look at it? Done. Give it a try, Chief Ray. Should be a lot more powerful now. The Iron Dogs made a batch of new missile launchers that are even more powerful. If you can find me their blueprints, I bet I can make yours even better. If I see any, I will bring them to you. <laughs> That'd be swell. Thanks, Chief Ray. Hey, stranger. What do you want with Bovey? Rayton, a former subordinate of Bovey, has urgent news to report. Bovey ain't home. He's at the mine, dealing with the Mine Demon. Mine Demon? Is the mine in danger? Oh, there's a nasty Mine Demon in the mine. Injured a lot of our miners. Bovey is trying to deal with it even though he is getting on in years. He also sealed the mine to keep villagers safe. If you used to serve under him, you might be able to help him out. Here's the key to the mine. Bovey gave it to me. Take good care of it. Open the mine door downstairs, then ride the winch down to the mine. Hurry. The last deal worked out great. Treasure's right to your doorstep. <laughs> when people say there ain't no such thing as a free meal, they're probably just afraid of me robbing them. Come to think of it, 
I haven't seen the Iron Dogs in a while. Hey, I didn't mean that I was looking forward to the Iron Dogs coming here. Who... who are you? Why are you eavesdropping on me? Get out of here. Who's eavesdropping on who? Tough as ever. Where did the mine demon come from, Bovi? They dug up a strange red rock in the mine a few days ago. Then the mine demon showed up and hurt a lot of our villagers. We haven't found the cause, but I've put the Western Range on high alert. That rock must be the spark. It's apparently a source of power for the Iron Dogs. The Iron Dogs want it, and they are going to attack this place soon. What? That thing must not be allowed to stay in the Western Range. We've kept our guard up, but we just don't have the troops anymore. If the Iron Dogs really come here for the spark, I fear. Ray, you've always been the one with ideas. Can you get rid of it for me? Don't worry, Bovi. That's what I came here to do. I will take the spark back to the Rat Gang's safe zone. I won't allow it to fall into the Iron Dogs' hands. The Rat Gang? I can't really say. When the resistance failed, I withdrew here to the Western Range. It's tough here, but well, we're all in this together. In Torch City, there are many factions and a lot of politics. I leave it up to your judgment. If Cicero had not died, we might be able to bring the old team together again. Well, Cicero... Bovi! Bad news! The Iron Dogs are here! That was quick. Ray, just like old times. You and your old captain will have a race to see who can score more kills. <laughs> no need for you to waste your time with this riffraff, Bovi. Top Priority Legion Command! Find the spark at all costs! Yes, sir! Why are you here? You jealous of the show I put on? <coughs> <coughs> Go get Bovi. I've got this. Don't come crying if you get hammered. We'll see how long you last lying paralyzed on a bed. Now's not the time to quibble. The Iron Dogs are coming. Iron Dogs? Eat this! <coughs> I have to go back. To end this once and for all. The Western Range doesn't have the forces to fight the Legion. Not now. You can't fight them by yourself. 
At least I have the spark now. The spark is cursed, and you're giving it to the rat dang. Are you really sure that's wise, Raiden? Don't worry, Bovi. I'll make sure to keep it safe. Hey, silly bunny. We meet again. It's you. What do you want this time? Are you going to go back on your word, tough guy? Don't forget, you still owe me one. Hmm. Let's be honest. You came for this, right? You don't even know what the spark is truly capable of, do you? If I were you, I wouldn't take the spark back to Torch City. Nobody can resist the temptation of so much power. I guess you've got your sights set on the spark too. Also, stop following me. I have no interest in following a numbskull like you. Just a friendly reminder, that's all. Keep a close eye on that spark. I don't need you to remind me. What I owe you, I will repay. The Iron Dog sent their best to grab the Spark. The Western Range suffered heavy casualties this time. Once this blows over, I will have the Rat Gang send medicine and supplies to the Western Range. The Legion knows that you have the Spark. Cicero will come for you in person. That saves me the effort of looking for him. It's not just the Legion that has designs on the Spark. No matter how hard your fist is, you can't handle everything on your own. Didn't you say you could maintain balance in Torch City? So what's your suggestion now? Remember the big boom? The Spark is so powerful. I once thought about using the Spark to Level Torch Tower. That will deal a massive blow to the Legion. And then? Rat Gang takes over for the Legion? Tell me, are there any Furtizens who aren't struggling to survive? A Torch City ruled by Furtizens is the future that I want to create. If you become top dog, will you continue with your old trade? Spare me your holier-than-thou act. This world is a game where the strong make the rules. In return, the strong protect the weak. Is that not fair? Would you rather trust the Legion over your own fur kind? By the way, did you run into anything on the way? And did you take the spark out? What's the problem? Bait and switch is something the Rat Gang knows all too well. Did you get it? How can you even tell? The spark intel you brought back included a trick for authentication. Let me see. <laughs> the spark finally got it! Hey, do! Don't act so surprised. Everything changed the moment I got my hands on the spark. I now have the power to drive the entire Legion out of Torch City. So you're the scoundrel trying to take over the spark. Only I can realize the true worth of the spark. You shall witness history with me, foolish rabbit. At last, my time has come! I shall become the new son of Torch City! This is insane! 
The spark has driven you all mad! Insanity is just a state of mind! Life is too short for me to go down without a fight! Come on! Let this nobody who lives in the past challenge the legendary Ace Pilot! <laughs> Complete at last. You shall now witness the true power of the Spark Rayton. I have changed. I don't have to follow your pilots around and clean up messes anymore. You are nothing. Even Cicero can't possibly defeat me now. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Give it up, to. It's over. This powered armor won't save you or Torch City. Shut up! You know nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> With the power of the spark, I can defeat you! <sighs> defeat Cicero. Defeat the Legion. <laughs> Do not who was willing to throw his life away for the spark. How could he have protected other Ferdizans? Don't feel too bad about it, Ray. It's not your fault. His henchmen don't know the truth. For the sake of all Ferdizans, the Rat Gang must hold together. Now is not the time to worry about that. What now? The Legion is on the move, and the spark blew up. The spark isn't one of a kind. The traitor Cicero is already searching for another one. Hold on. How did you turn up here in the Duke's secret room? You think a two-bit rat gangster could have found out about the Western Range Mine? You were the one who told him. What are you really up to? Keeping the lid on the spark has been the mission of the Cat Clan for a thousand years. I was planning to use Dew to get the spark, then bury it deep underground, but... Is the spark really that important? Without the spark, Dew would have been a mere sneaky rumor monger. As guardians of the spark, the Cat Clan has seen countless lunatics offer themselves up to it. The existence of the spark always brings disaster. Help me bury the secret, please. Why do you trust me? Why wouldn't I seek the spark too? Thick-headed numbskulls are hard to find nowadays. Hmm. Did you say there is another spark? There is another one in the underground lake. We need to get to it before Cicero does. I must go now. Hey, silly bunny. Catch up to us when you've made up your mind. You still owe me, you know. What are you waiting for, you dumb rabbit? Lady Q left. Are you going to let her face Cicero alone? I'm going after her. To reach the underground lake, you must first go to the underwater base and find the oxygen mask. Don't ask me how I know. I got stiffed once. Go after her, rabbit. Remember to use the radio to stay in touch. Wait, what are you planning to do? Hey, my ears aren't as sensitive as yours. <sighs> you gave me such a fright. So, does that mean we're a team now? If I stick close to you, you won't be able to get up to any of your tricks. I don't have time to play hide-and-seek with you. Seriously, though, to get to the underground lake, you must first... Go to the underwater base and find the oxygen mask. You and Urso were already in on this. Oh, you found us out. In that case, I'll tell you what to do once you get to the underground lake. Remember, use the bear's radio. This team is purely temporary, and I don't want to be indebted to you. 
That really breaks my heart. I was hoping you'd finish the mission for me if I don't come back. You want to settle the debt now? See you at the underground lake, silly bunny. You again. This time, you have reason to let me go. Tell me. If you hurt me this time, it means there was no point in you letting me go last time. Let it be pointless then. I get up at 7 every morning and iron my tie. I then go to the energy station to get a full 8-hour charge and pick up a 4-hour temporary battery. I start working at a clock. I must check, inspect, and monitor the mission roster for 1,000 soldiers every day. Enough talking. To Ferguson's, we are the enemy, the Iron Dogs. To the heads of the Legion, however, we are mere cogs in the wheel churning out work. Patrolling and writing reports both consume a lot of power. We must stay at our posts, even if we are low on battery or have rusty components. You can shut up now. All right. Before I shut up, though, I will repeat this one more time. Civilized Ferguson, please allow me to leave in a fitting manner. This is where it is for you! I have the oxygen mask. What do you think? Isn't it genius? The hexapod got away, though. Cicero will soon hear that I've infiltrated the place. We better hurry, then. Our next steps are at the Underground Lake and the Spark. Contact me when you get to the Underground Lake. Hey, silly bunny. Are you there? It's me. I'm at the Underground Lake, but I don't see you. Sorry. I'm in a tricky situation over on my end. A lady flake sometimes. Jokes aside, though, open the map. I've marked your next destination. The ancient complex is guarded around the clock by the Cat Clan. I'll wait for you there. No second guessing this time. You must first find a special spark, though. It is the key to the ancient complex's gate. It's the spark again. Don't worry, silly bunny. The guardian of the spark wouldn't lie to you. I'll wait for you. Copy. Oh, you really are so naive, silly bunny. Probably be opened with the spark. I found the entrance to the ancient altar. It's right below you. But there's no way back up if you jump down. Rabbits know their way around holes. Wait for my signal. Once you get back, we'll celebrate. The three of us. I see. The cats were the first Ferdisons to come into contact with the spark. Then who gave the spark to the cats? According to our legends, they were gods. Gods? They created this world? The gods only granted us the power of the spark. It was our ancestors that created the world. The Cat Clan was instructed by the gods to build Torch Tower and spread the power of evolution across the world. The power of the spark is truly immense. What does Cicero want to do with it? The spark represents infinite possibilities. The more you pursue power, the closer you come to reaching the endgame. 
Cicero believes that the future of Torch Tower and Fertizens lies in a perfect fusion of flesh and machine. The Spark can help him achieve this. Generations of the Cat Clan have devoted themselves to ensuring that the Spark is not used for such ambitions. It is the mission of the Cat Clan, and my destiny. The Spark must be buried underground, even if it means sacrificing myself. Go. Fulfill your destiny. Thank you, silly bunny. This ends now. Will this really end it all? And now, what will happen? Don't really know. The torch hasn't been lit for a thousand years. Maybe peace and quiet is the best thing for the spark. Q, where are you? I'm here. Phew, you had me worried, kid. I heard this huge noise and your signal disappeared. But it was nothing, right? Hey, talk to me. Where's Q? She died. What? It was Cicero. He took the spark, too. I'm going to Torch Tower. It's time for me to settle the score with Cicero once and for all. Count me in. Avenge Q. I've got a crazy idea. Are you gonna try it? Target, Coastal Fortress. Meet you under the turret. I'm at the turret. Urso? You... you just got here? I... I got here a while ago. I'm... I'm inside already. Where are you? In... the... ventilation ducts. Ouch! Uh, don't worry about me. See you at the rooftop turret. I hope Urso is okay. Your name is Rayton. I will remember it. But in a while, I will surely forget it again. What's your excuse this time? I just had my routine checkup. The components in my head are badly rusted. I will soon be sent to the recycling depot. My final task is to report your current location. The depot is where all Legion soldiers end up. No tombstone, no nameplate. Thank you for allowing me to depart in a fitting manner on previous occasions, Verzenry. 
My last companion. Do you have a name? Serial number STO007. Go. STO007. Thank you, Raiden. I shall salute the Legion, even when I am at the recycling depot. Stop messing around. Sink your location now. Let's race! See who gets to the turret first. Ow! Ooh, that hurts. I told you to lose weight. See you at the turret. Urso, sink your location now. What? <clears throat> Did... <clears throat> you... <clears throat> say... How far are you? I'm not fat! The ducks ugh, are just too narrow! See you at the rooftop turret. I am unstoppable! <laughs> Hardly breathe in there. They should use wider ducts. The spark changes everything. Ferguson shall fear no one from now on. I've sacrificed my come. You think you can save Torch City? What Torch City wants is freedom. Your idea of freedom is wearing the Iron Dog's straitjacket for all eternity? Your eyes are blinded by your meaningless pride. It's not morals that determine what species will survive a disaster. It's the wisdom to face and adapt to reality. My master plan will be realized soon. You cannot stop me! Ray, come in! I see him. Cicero. I actually just managed to defeat him. I told you. You've been underestimating yourself all this time. Ray, Torch City and its Spurtisans are all counting on you now. You want to protect Torch City, but you refuse to change. The Spark is the only power that Torch City can rely on. By seeking the power of an object, you've already lost what truly matters. You do not know the true meaning of power!
the darkness before the dawn is over.